Hey guys, Doug with Punchy Line Productions. We're here in the back country, and today we're looking at 10 EDC, everyday carry, items that you'll need in the summertime. When we're talking about EDC, everyday carry, we're talking about items that you can carry on your person. The main reasons for having EDC are utility and preparedness to help individuals overcome simple everyday problems and to prepare someone for unexpected and possibly dangerous situations. So again, applying this to the outdoors, same things can happen if your EDC for your home life is the same as your outdoors life, you may find yourself in a bit of a jackpot because things are different when you get out in the woods. You're gonna need different kinds of items. So you wanna have items that are effective depending what you are doing. So having these kinds of items for being in the woods in the summer will be highly effective. When you're hitting the woods for camping, for fishing, for hunting, for hiking, for anything in the outdoors, these are the items that you need. I stick around because later in the video, I'm going to show you my EDC items, the stuff I carry every day to deal with everyday problems and uh, unexpected problems that, uh, that turn up. I'm also going to show you my latest EDC item that I'm super happy about and I want to share that with you a little bit later. But stick around, we're going to talk about the 10 items that you need for summer EDC. We'll talk about our first item and it's a pretty simple one but very effective and that's a cell phone. And the beauty of a cell phone, it's a small computer in your hands. You can download maps, use it for that. You can use it for GPS coordinates. You can use it for uh, a compass. Actually, uh, there's a lot of compass programs and stuff like that. All right, our second everyday carry item, EDC item, would be a knife. When you're camping and stuff like that, it's nice to have a full tang, robust knife. But if it's not for you, there are other options. You can go with something uh, a little bit lighter, like uh, a Mora, which is uh, not a full tang knife, but still very effective. Or even a... Uh, quality folder would work as well. So there are options depending where you live and what you're doing. So it's not always about having the most uh, robust uh, item of choice or the best. It's what's affordable, it's what works for you. It's gonna be what's effective for you in what you're doing in the outdoors. All right guys, item number three is a compass. Now again, as I mentioned earlier with a cell phone, you could have a compass app on it. A good old fashioned compass, they aren't expensive and uh, this one in particular is not an expensive one, but they're highly effective. And when you're going into the woods, don't take it for granted that you know where you're going or it's easy to find your way out. Grab a compass, it fits in your pocket. Again, it's something small. And this is all about having, you know, the ability to carry these items on your person. You know, a compass will go a long way. All right, guys, our next item is a lighter, fire. And Bic is king, as always, easiest to use. And you know what? It's a great option. It's cheap. It's effective. You want to have that. Uh, with some of these items, you want to have redundancy as well. So you may carry this in your pocket. And you know what? You can carry uh, some wooden matches with you in your other pocket. Uh, you can have uh, a ferro rod as well. You have the ability to have redundancy in, in fire and have a couple of the different items in your pockets, but having at least one of these is very effective, especially if you get turned around or you're in an area where you want to start a small fire, or even just want to have lunch or something like that, you want to start a fire, you need to have some uh, items to do that, and these are some great items. Pick the one you want, maybe have a second in your pocket as well. That's item number four. All right, guys, item number five is a flashlight. Now, normally I carry this uh, small flashlight, which in most cases would be fine. But when I'm going out in the woods, no matter what I'm doing, I want something a little more powerful. I want something that I know uh, it's not a AAA battery. I want something with more effectiveness. Now, this is the, the light I use, and this is another uh, Olight. Any option is good. Something with a little bit uh, higher power or uh, more battery life or something would be more effective, in my opinion, in case you do end up having to spend the night in the woods. Uh, one thing you're going to want is light. And let's keep in mind, as I've mentioned in other videos, half the time it's dark out, guys, and we're not carrying flashlights. We should be all the time, and that's why it's an important part of your everyday carry, uh, whether you're in the woods or at home. So an effective, high-powered, or at least a, a good-powered flashlight is uh, my next everyday carry item for the summer.
Maxer is a Dutch company that gained success becoming the biggest smart wallet brand in the world and got there with the support of crowdfunding. Forbes magazine calls Exter the most successful smart wallet brand in the world. Exter has an ecosystem of carry goods with tech that makes things like theft, loss, and skimming preventable. The materials they use are sustainable, durable, and reliable. Using innovative materials like vegan recycled leather made from car windshields and eco dry tan leather. Extra is committed to a better future by using solar power instead of batteries, opting for recycled and sustainable materials, and embracing social responsibility. Extra's motto is every person has a responsibility to nature and as a brand our responsibility is tenfold. I completely buy into that. All right guys so the latest addition to my EDC is this wallet, the Parliament wallet from Exter, which they sent me to have a look at. It's a leather bifold wallet, and it's designed uh, to fit in your front pocket as opposed to your, your back pocket, and you don't want that big wallet in your back pocket like your dad had. You can fit nine cards, and uh, six of those would go into this uh, patented section where this aluminum uh, RFID protected area has a push button, and your cards just pop right up like that. Uh, your cards won't shake out of there. It's uh, some kind of friction technology that they have. And then there's additional spots for cards in the wallet as well. In the back here, we have a tracker card. This is solar powered, not battery powered. This works in conjunction with an app that's available with Android or iOS. It will ring if you wanted to through the app, uh, if you've lost uh, your wallet uh, nearby kind of thing. And it'll also show you through Google Maps uh, where, your, where your wallet is, if you've lost your wallet or someone's stolen your wallet. So that helps with preventing uh, loss and theft, or at least knowing, having a rough idea where your wallet might be. I love the leather. I love the, the way this is going to patina over time. Beautiful, well-made product. I've been carrying around for a little bit now. I like the cash strap as well. Wish there was a little bit more cash in there. So it's a great wallet. It's part of my uh, everyday carry, my EDC. It'd be a great addition to yours. So if you're interested, there's a link in the description. And if you buy something through the link, I do get a small uh, commission. And that would be very much appreciated. It helps the channel out. All right, guys. Item number six for uh, summer everyday carry. And this one is uh, could be particular to the region you live in. But up here in northern Ontario, uh, we want this. This is bear spray. You definitely want to have the, this with you when you're out in the woods. And it's effective. And if you get in a, a holster like this where you can uh, put it on your belt. It, again, it's on your person. It's not a big deal to carry. But it could be highly effective. And it's been proven that... These things are about 95% effective against bears as opposed to, you know, other means. But there are other options as well. If you want to have carry around bear spray, you could carry a bear banger. A really cheap and highly effective way is an air horn. And these things work great. This is a, a marine uh, and sport air horn. You can buy these at Canadian Tire. Uh, these are highly effective with bears as well. Get them out of the area. They're also effective too if you get lost and, and you're, you can hear people in the distance and you want to get their attention. This will definitely get their attention. Item number seven in our summer EDC uh, carry, wet wipes. And you may laugh, but you know what? Having these when you're out in the woods is awesome because they can uh, double as uh, stuff to wash your hands, even clean parts of your body, clean a wound. You know, most effectively if you have to go to the washroom, these are great to have unless you want to use moss or something else. Uh, other options, of course, could be... Uh, you know, having some uh, Kleenex rolled up or, or folded up in your pocket, something like that. But these things, because uh, they have so many different uses, it's highly effective in my opinion. And again, that'll slip right into a cargo pocket. Number seven, wet wipes. All right, guys, item number eight is uh, having water purification. Now, this may seem a little bit extreme or what have you, but you know what? You may empty your water bottle and you may get turned around in the woods or you may be away from your camp and you, you get thirsty, especially in the hot summer months. So this is a great one. This uh, Katadyne is awesome because it folds up nice and tight and that can fit in your cargo pocket without any problems. But there are other options as well. And you could look at uh, water tablets, especially if you do have a water bottle with you. You could also use these, which is uh, water treatment droplets. Uh, you need both, uh, both bottles, but they're easily, again, fit in your pockets and you could have them on your person without a problem. And again, if you have a water bottle with you, but you've emptied it, collect water in your water bottle and throw these in or the tablet. So... These are great backups or, or even primaries, if, uh, depending how you feel about it, if you don't have uh, a system like this. But it's another option. So there's uh, water. Stay hydrated. All right, guys, item number nine is a small first aid kit. Now, this can prove to be uh, very helpful, especially if you get a small cut. And 
More than likely, that's probably what you're going to end up with is kind of a minor uh, injury of some kind. Hopefully nothing major, but so having some uh, com uh, compression bandages and just some regular bandages is great. It'll stop bleeding. It'll, it'll help with any kind of small wounds, bug bites, stuff like that. Uh, you could even throw in some uh, Advil or some kind of uh, headache medicine, stuff like that. You can do a lot in a small package like this. And again, that fits easily into your pocket, into a cargo pants pocket, into a jacket, what have you. And Again, first aid, don't uh, overlook first aid because it's very important. Things can go sideways very quickly, especially when you're out in the woods. All right, guys, number 10 on the list, and again, none of these were in any particular order, is a multi-tool. Uh, Leatherman is awesome for their multi-tools, and they last forever, and they have so many different options on them. Uh, this is something that, again, provides redundancy because uh, it'll have a knife on it and what, what have you. Uh, but there's, some of these have small saws, scissors, uh, screwdrivers, of course, pliers. And you never know when you're going to need that kind of stuff, uh, especially if you're out camping and stuff like that. And the beauty of it is even if you go for a walk away from camp and, or something like that and you need a knife and for whatever reason uh, you didn't bring your other knife, this is great to have on you. And it can fix a lot of problems. And that's the whole thing about uh, everyday carries about fixing problems. All right, guys, so that's the 10 summer EDC items that I feel you need. Feel free to switch things in and out depending where you live. Also, um, you know what, cost effectiveness. You, there's different options that you can use as I've shown you. You don't have to buy the most expensive stuff or have the most expensive stuff, but try to have something that's reliable and you know, have it on your person. Again, it's stuff you're gonna carry in your pocket. So if you're wearing your, uh, your volleyball shorts or something like that, you may have an issue, but you know, you're not always carrying a, a, a pack sack. You don't always wanna carry a bag and stuff like that. Uh, so these are options that you can definitely fit in your pockets and I think it goes a long way. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram, Punching Line Productions. And uh, until next time, guys, take care. Thank you very much.